<laughs> so then I hired these girls who thought they were on a public relations tour for the airline. And in every major city, I had photographers taking their pictures out at the Eiffel Tower and all the stuff. And ironically, I was sending those pictures to Pan Am because I tell the photographer, when you're done, just send those to Pan Am at 200 Park Avenue, their PR department. And they were getting all these pictures and going, who the hell are these girls? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no personal fraud, because most of all the things I did was write checks. Back then, there, uh, there weren't really any credit cards. It was just like Diners Club, I think, was just beginning back then. So everything I did involved writing checks, and all the checks I wrote were to <laughs> hotels and banks and uh, businesses like that. The only person I ever gave a check to was a hooker in Miami, which they did in the film. But that was the only person I ever personally wrote a check to. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I did, I justified because I was uh, so I was so young. I first of all wasn't thinking about the consequences of what I was doing. I wasn't that because of how old I was. Um, so you know. I would put in my mind that, for example, if I had truly walked into a dry cleaner and the, the mom and pop were in the back and went to get something and the register drawer had been open and there were cash in it, I would have never taken that cash because I, I looked at that as like stealing and stealing from them. But I could justify walking in a bank by saying to myself, this is a bank that has billions of dollars. I'm going to write a $500 check. Uh, this bank's not going to miss $500. But what happened is that was 16. As I started to get a little older, uh, you know, I was brought up in a good Catholic family, so I was given all the necessary tools uh, about ethics and character. All that came back to haunt me because as I got older, I'd walk into the bank, convince the teller to cash this check, which he or she knew they shouldn't be cashing, but they'd go ahead and cash it. Then I'd walk out and start having guilt pains about, I hope this teller doesn't lose her job because I talked her into cashing this check. And uh, fraud is a lot easier than when I did it. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, fraud in the United States last year was $940 billion. So, uh, just white collar fraud in the United States. So, but, uh, I mean, everything's money. more expensive nowadays. I mean, as far as compared to maybe what you've gotten years ago, but I just kind of No, everything's cheaper. I use very uh, million dollar printing presses. Today you just use a $500 laser printer and we call it copy. So you think you actually use your nowadays to pull off what you did? Oh yeah, absolutely. It might be a little more difficult to get on, say, an airplane and pretend to be a pilot, right. but it certainly would be a lot easier to fake credentials and uh, fake documents and they can put, What they do is they will sell temp on the internet. They sell templates to driver's licenses. So you can pull up a Colorado driver's license. And there's a blank where the photo goes, and then you can type in in the font, the font that the Colorado uses for typing in the name, height, weight, date of birth, and then digitally insert your photo in there and then print that out like on a color copier and laminate it and you know get it be good enough to flash to somebody else. When, you, when I worked undercover, every job I did I had to go get. So the government didn't say to me, I'm going to place you in here uh, because we have an in, because you never know who is involved. So the government would say, there's an opening here, there's a social worker, right. go apply for it. They would give me the necessary papers to prove, but I had to go compete along with four or five other social workers. Uh, to get them. If you go to my website, which is just my name, abignail.com, obviously I don't sell any products or services or anything like that. But what I do do is I constantly write publications on my website under, there's a button off to the left, Mark Publications. Uh -huh. And if you own a business, for example, I write an 18-page booklet every year about protecting your business, taking credit cards, checks, identity theft. Uh, there are tips in there about identity theft, four pages on things you should be doing to protect yourself from identity theft. So you can go there and print any of those out. And I constantly am writing stuff and putting it on there that you can access at any time.